What is multiple dwellings relief? And how can it be used in my business purchases? Hi, I'm Kimberly Shapcock, qualified chartered accountant, property investor and entrepreneur. Let's sit down and have a chat. Stamp duty can be a complex area and there are many different reliefs available. Check out the channel for some of the other reliefs. Today we're going to be talking about multiple dwellings relief and what this is. Now multiple dwellings relief is when you're buying a property that's actually more than one property. So you might be buying a portfolio off a landlord or you might be buying a block of flats which are all separate titles but you're buying all of them. And the key reason it's important that there's more than one is the whole concept of multiple dwellings relief. So if you've negotiated a purchase that has a number of properties in it, number of separate dwellings, then you can be claiming this relief. The key here is that they're linked transactions. So for example, you're buying a portfolio off a landlord and there is more than one property that you are purchasing. So you might be buying two, three, four properties. This can be either freehold or leasehold. There is no differentiation from a tax point of view for stamp duty. So it can be any type of property. The benefits of multiple dwellings relief is that in terms of the calculation, what you'll do is take the number of properties that you've purchased. So let's go with four properties and we're paying 500,000 for them. We'll divide that by the number of properties. So we've got 500,000 divide by four, which makes 125,000 per property. We'll work out the tax due on this. So for 125,000, we're probably at the moment at 3%. So we'll work out the 3% stamp duty that will be payable. And then we'll multiply it by the number of dwellings that we've got. So we calculate that at 3% and then times that 3% figure by the number of dwellings, which we had was four. Now, this may be a way of saving tax, especially depending what the figures are and what the stamp duty rates are. Sometimes it makes not really any difference. Other times it can make the world of difference depending on the transaction you're doing. There is a minimum rate of stamp duty of 1%, so you can't get out of paying stamp duty whatsoever, but there is a minimum which hopefully minimizes the stamp duty that you may have to pay. Historically, this was even better because obviously at the point historically when we were looking at things, there may have been a way to get this down to the 0% rate, which would have been awesome and we wouldn't have any stamp duty to pay. Obviously, with the additional rate that we have of 3%, it may be it gets most of your properties down to that 3% rate, which obviously is still a great position to be in. There is a, one or two restrictions, so let's just cover those restrictions. And then I wish you luck on finding those property purchases that are going to give you the ability to reduce your stamp duty costs. So the relief does not apply to the transfer of a freehold reversion or a head lease where the dwelling has a long lease of 20 year, 21 years or more. So that's the one restriction that there is in the guidance. So if you're doing something like that, you may need to just review things. For a lot of people, that is not going to apply and it may be something that you can make use of. So the key thing that I want to make you aware of on our video today is that this, this stamp duty exemption exists and it is a way of minimising your stamp duty. So if you are buying portfolios or you're buying multiple properties from the same person through a linked transaction, this is definitely something to look at and see whether this is going to give you the best stamp duty position that you can get. Hopefully today you've discovered what multiple dwellings relief is and how you may be able to use it in your property purchases in the future. If you have any questions or comments, then please do share them with me. Please like the video and do subscribe to the channel and let's make tax less taxing.
less taxes.